Thanks for watching and let's solve the following neat equation. Cosine of z times sine of z equals i. Why not? And in particular, we can simplify this because this is one half sine of 2z equals i. So sine of 2z equals 2i. And of course, let's go into the complex world. So this is just e to the 2i, uh, 2zi minus e of minus 2zi over 2i equals 2i. And so across multiplying, this gives you e to the uh, 2zi minus 1 over e to the 2zi equals 2i times 2i, so minus 4. But notice this does become a quadratic equation actually because if you let y to be e to the 2zi, this becomes y minus 1 over y equals minus 4. And then multiplying this by y, you get y squared minus 1 equals minus 4y. So y squared plus 4y minus 1 equals 0. So all you need to do is uh, solve this quadratic equation and then find z. All right, and in this case what we get, so completing the squared, this gives you y plus 2 squared minus 4 minus 1 equals 0. So y plus 2 squared equals 5. And therefore y is minus 2 plus minus squared of 5. And here we just have to be a little bit careful depending on whether we choose plus square root of 5 or minus square root of 5. So case 1, again suppose y is minus 2 plus square root of 5. Now this is nice because this is positive. So we get e to the 2zi equals again minus 2 plus square root of 5. So here we also want to write this as an exponential function, but we can do this using ln. So e of 2z, e to the 2zi, that is e to the ln of minus 2 plus square root of 5, okay, plus multiples of myself, so plus 2 pi m i, where m is any integer, and therefore a 2zi becomes ln of minus 2 plus square root of 5 plus 2 pi m i and then dividing by 2 i we get z is 1 over 2 i ln of minus 2 plus square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 i 2 pi m i this simplifies so the i's cancel out, the 2's cancel out. So you literally get me, so pi m, how neat. And for this one, you use 1 over i is minus i. So z is minus i over 2, ln of minus 2 plus square root of 5 plus multiples of pi. And then for the second case, so if y is minus 2 minus square root of 5, then again we get e to the 2zi, that is um, minus 2 minus square root of 5, but in this case what this is, it's minus 2 plus square root of 5, and which becomes ei pi, and then e of ln of 2 plus square root of 5. And again, multiples of 2 pi, so e2 pi m i. And the same thing here, so then we get 2zi equals, if you want i, mm, i pi times 1 plus 2m, and then plus ln of 2 plus square root of 5, and then divide by 2i, so I think you get z is is pi over 2, and multiples of pi over 2, 1 plus 2m, and then 
minus, so 1 over 2i, so minus i over 2, ln of 2 plus square root of 5. So those are the two kinds of solutions. And the cool thing is, at least if you visualize them geometrically, here's what they look like. Because in both cases, either case one or case two, the imaginary part is constant. So what the solutions look like, they're just points on two parallel lines, and in fact interlaced like that, roughly, if the picture is correct. So uh, we do have this nice complex phenomenon I actually never really observed before, which is quite neat. Alright, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.